OK, I'm going to factorise this expression this time, x squared plus 3x minus 10. Notice that we've got a plus in front of the 3x, but we've got a minus in front of the 10 this time. That makes it slightly different the way that we work things out. So, factorising this, is there a common factor is the first thing you ask. x goes into that, x is present there, but there's no x there. So there is no common factor. So you now know it must be a double bracket factorisation. Because it's x squared there, automatically the first term in each bracket must be an x. Your job now is to work out the two missing values. To get the two missing values, set up a table, times and plus, once again will be the headings. Be careful though, the value on the end is negative 10. Notice, not plus 10, so negative 10 goes underneath the time sign. The number in front of the x is positive 3, positive 3. The two numbers I'm looking for, one goes there, one goes there, put them in brackets underneath, must multiply together to give minus 10, and then when you add them up they give plus 3. Well, if they multiply together to give minus 10, a minus answer, one must be a plus and one must be a minus. That's a certainty. They can't both be pluses, they can't both be minuses. So they must be different signs. Now all you've got to do is think of two numbers that multiply to give 10. Well, it's either 10 and 1. Well, if you think about 10 and 1, there's no way if you add them together using army method, 10 and 1 can give an answer of plus 3. So what's the alternative? Well, 5 twos make 10. And if you now realise that if you put a plus with a 5 and a minus with a 2, plus 5 times minus 2 gives you minus 10. And then if you add them together with army method, positive army 5 meets minus army 2. They fight. The positives would win the fight by 3. So that's the right combination. Now, sometimes when you're looking for these combination of numbers, you might not be sure whether that's the right combination. Well, OK, have a go, see if it works, multiply them out, add them together and see if you get the right answers. It doesn't matter how many times you have a go as long as ultimately you get the right combination. OK, so for example, some people might think, well, minus 10 times plus 1, minus 10 times plus 1 would give minus 10, that's OK, yeah. But when you add them together with army method, minus army 10 plus army 1, the minuses would win by 9, so that should be minus 9. So that's quite clearly not the right answer, and you'd dismiss it. And you just keep going until you hit upon the right combination. Some people who are very quick with their mental arithmetic can spot the right combination almost immediately and just write it straight down. And if you can do that, that's fine. So plus 5 minus 2, plus 5 minus 2, or the other way around, you could put the minus 2 first and the plus 5 second. And that is the right factorization for that question. OK, let's do another one very quickly. If I did x squared plus 2x uh, let's say minus uh, 35, for example. So that's a slightly bigger number. Might be a bit harder to work out. We'll see. So let's factorise it. OK, again, it's got a plus there, and again, it's got a minus there, just to keep the pattern of how we work things out the same. Is there a common factor? X, yes. X, yes. No X. No common factor. So it's going to be a double bracket. Because it's X squared, it must be an X with an X. How do I find the two numbers? Well, we set up over here a little table. I'll just put it underneath here. Times and a plus. Underneath the time sign is the number on the end, negative 35. Underneath the plus sign is the number in front of the x, plus 2. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give minus 35. Well, they must be opposite signs to give a negative answer when you multiply. So that's a certainty. You could put the minus first, it doesn't matter. OK, two numbers that multiply to give 35. Well, it's either 35 and 1, but if you use 35 and 1, obviously, if you then add the two numbers together, 35 and 1 cannot possibly add to give plus 2. So is there any other possible combinations that multiply to give 35? Well, 7 and 5. 7 fives are 35. And if you notice, it's a plus 2 when you add them, so that tells me that the pluses must be bigger than the minuses. So I'll put the plus with a 7 and the minus with a 5. Let's just check that. 
plus 7 times negative 5 do give minus 35. When you add them, positive 7 added to minus 5, they fight, the positives win by 2. And that is the right combination. So there you put the plus 7 and minus 5. And again, you could put the minus 5 first and the plus 7 second. It doesn't matter. Some people might say, well, I wouldn't have been able to spot that straight away. So if you can't, then you just make some guesses and see um, if you're right. And if you're not, then you adapt. So, for example, some people might, might have said, OK, I'll try minus 7 with plus 5. Minus 7 times plus 5 gives negative 35. That's OK. But when you add them, minus army 7 plus army 5, the minuses would win by 2 in a fight. So that should have been minus 2 for that combination of numbers. So that's not right. So you dismiss it and make another attempt. However, we did it in one step. That was the right answer. That's the factorization. So that's the end of this little video.